check this out. I'm sat on my comfy brand new rock and roll bed and I'm actually sat next to my brand new kitchen and wardrobe in my Mercedes Vito camper van. But it wasn't a perfect fit and I needed to learn how to make it very snug because it's tapered at the back here. So if you want to see how I did it, then keep on watching. So we got our kitchen from Majestic Campers and I'll leave a link below if you want to check them out. And this is the kitchen we went for. And because we now live quite away from Yorkshire, we paid them a little bit extra to build it together, just so it was less likely that we'd find things missing as we were building them. And to make sure we scribed it into the van accurately, we took it to my dad's house, who's a carpenter, just so he could direct us. And we measured a piece of plastic, or you could use some wood, and cut it to the size of the widest gap towards the bottom and held it against the inside of the van but flat against the wardrobe here and used a pencil to draw a line where we needed to cut it. You could use a compass as Majestic Campers advised but we didn't have one so this is an alternative. And we did that on the opposite side as well and then I carefully hand sawed it to remove the excess and when it came to the top where the stripes were going in the same direction a pencil mark would I needed to use some masking tape and then drew a much more visible line using something straight. This was actually a curtain rail. And a little tip my dad gave me was, if the saw is really stiff to use, just rub it with some candle wax, although I'm sure a bar of soap would work as well. And it just sawed much more smoothly. So I'm not saying it was easy, it did get a bit tough, but then once we got it to shape, it fit perfectly along the back. And then once we got the bed in and tried to lay that in a sleeping position, we noticed another obstacle and that was we needed to cut a sink fridge unit and buy about 25 mils. So we marked that all up and got the saw out again and just removed that from the back. And also it's really important to use masking tape for the top of your work surface just so you don't scratch it or just chip any of the surface. And once we did that it fit like a glove and left us a bit more space to play with when we want to open the bed. Oh, and what I didn't explain in the video, this is not ordinary MDF, this is actually much lighter plywood because we were too worried that it was going to be really heavy while driving. And we purposely picked Majestic Campers because they cut the hole out for the sink for you and the fridge unit. And I think that was just a weight off my mind, particularly when you're spending a lot of money on something, I didn't want to start chopping major bits out. So hopefully that's given you an idea or confidence on how to do it yourself and if you've got any suggestions of how you do it differently please comment below hopefully it will help someone and feel free to follow my journey as there's not enough tutorials on Vito camper vans there's enough T4 ones I think and if you did really like it and you want to see more don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you in my next one thanks for watching bye